Hi all. In the previous lecture, we have studied about identifiers. We have seen how a variable name can be given. We studied about the different rules that have that has to be followed to give a name for the variables that is identifiers. Now we are going to study how a memory is allocated for variables. So each and every variable that you give in a program has a specific type. Here type means what kind of value that you are going to store inside that variable. Whether it is an integer number or a decimal number or a character. That is if I am giving like a is equal to 50 means you are storing an integer number. And if you are going to store a value like 30.75, it becomes a decimal number or we call it as a floating number. And if I am going to store alphabets inside a variable, we call it as a character. So each and every data type or each and every type that you give in that variable need different memory sizes. So the type in which the variable are declared, we call it as a data type. So in any programming languages, we call that as a data type. So data type of variables should be specified to allocate memory because every type has its own memory sizes. So in C programming, some of the primitive data types are int. Int means you are going to store an integer number into the variable. Char, char means you are going to store a character or an alphabet into that particular variable. Float is a type where you are going to store the floating values and using the double data type we can store large numbers. So you can see there all the memories are represented by using bytes. So for integer we need two bytes to store an integer number. Character we need one byte. Float we need four bytes and for double we need eight bytes. So in the first module I talked about bits and bytes where the memory are allocated. Now we should know how the memory is allocated in a program. So the step which we use to allocate memory is called as declaration. So the syntax for declaring, syntax means the rule that you have to follow for declaring a variable is shown in the screen. First you have to specify the data type and then the name of the variable that you are going to use. So if you have multiple variables you can separate it using a comma and every statement in that program should be ended with a semicolon. So when we see some sample programs you will understand why we are using those semicolons. So there you can see an example is given there if I am going to declare a variable called age you have to declare in the following syntax. First you have to specify the data type that is int is the data type that is given there and if I give age that means age is a variable which can store only integer numbers. You cannot store floating numbers. You can store floating numbers but it takes only the integer part. So if you want to declare integer variables you can see there you can give it like int a comma b or if you want to declare floating numbers you can give it like a float a comma b and if you want to declare character numbers you can go for char a comma b. So if you are declaring it as an integer, A and B can store only integer numbers. It won't accept any numbers with floating values. And if you are giving it as float, it accepts floating values. So this is how you can declare variables in your program. So in this example itself, you can see int A comma B means you are declaring two variables with data type integer. So totally four bytes will be reserved for the variables A and B. So that is all we have for today, thank you.